welcome back to stylistic facial modding modeling video 7 we're going to continue uh, with edge loop um, extrude all right so to do this we're going to go ahead and click on this edge right here to control E W and just move that up and what we'll do is we'll just right click over that and move that vertex up and we need to uh, snap that I'm going to snap this one to the outer one. Hold the V key and snap it, select it, and go into Edit Mesh and um, Merge the Center. So we've done that so many times now. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue going around the edges here. So I'm going to select that guy, Control E, and there's only really one way to go now. So I'm going to select that guy and uh, snap it, hit the uh, S key, oh, excuse me, V key, snap it, and marquee select it, and go to Edit Mesh and Merge to Center. And this one here, we're gonna leave open, okay? So I don't really want a triangle there. Uh, it's not a good idea. So I'm gonna do everything I can to stop that. So I'm gonna go into here, um, and basically click on that guy right here control E and W and then move it down and what we're going to do is we're going to snap these vertices together here hold down the V key and snap it hold down the V key and snap it and that works really good so I'm going to select those guys just that marquee select that and hold down the spacebar and go to edit mesh and merge the center and we'll select that one and we will hit the G key there we go alright so let's take a look at what the nose looks like now okay go to the side there we go this way so it's kinda messed up so what we're gonna do is we need to kinda fix this part so I'm going to select that one and we're going to go ahead and move it straight out like that. Let's kind of move it straight out like that. And you can kind of see what you're doing here. That looks pretty good. All right. Go to the next one. Okay. And then we'll move that straight out. Okay. All right. And then we can continue. not quite sure where these are supposed to be so I'm just going to kind of move them around and that's the opening I think again I'm not sure it's hard to tell let's move that one down a little bit more that looks pretty good I know these are lower like that Alright, so let's see what we got here in perspective. That looks pretty good. That actually lines up real nice. We can make those changes later if we need to. It's moving vertices around again. There we go. It looks pretty good. Very happy with that. That nose looks pretty good. And that looks really nice. So now we're going to go into... to um, Things are going to go a little bit faster now because we're going to be extruding quite a bit more around this area here and slowly moving up around the head. So this should go a lot faster now. Now that we're at this point, this is the hardest part besides the ear to do. So let's go ahead and, and polish this up a little bit. Okay. 
and again we sh this should go a little bit faster so I'm going to go to edge mode hit the Q key and just kind of go around select these edges all around there we go like so holding down the space or the shift key make sure you hold down the shift key now notice that we've got some stray pieces here that's okay we should probably have uh, uh, moved move those vertices around but that's okay we're going to continue on anyway okay all right so let's take a look at the perspective view to see what we have here all right so right now that looks good we don't have anything on the inside here so let's go oh i missed one you can see there we go so always look on your perspective viewport that's this one right here it says P -E -P -E -R -S -P. and if you're wondering how I'm getting back and forth I'm just hitting the space bar that allows me to go back and forth between them okay there we go that makes it look nice let's go let's go to the side view and just go control E okay from the front view you're gonna want to hit R and you want to scale that up again we can changes if we need to looks like some things didn't do very well so let's go back I think I missed a couple things so I missed this piece hit the Q key I missed that one and I missed this one I think this time instead of hitting the scale key let's try this so these two pieces are it's going to be a problem for that so I'm going to have to basically see how these kind of meet up here on this um, ex extruding these two is probably not a good idea so I'm going to take this one and this one holding the the control key I can deselect these there we go so I think this will work fine this will work just fine so I'm going to go ahead and do a um, control E okay and this time I'm gonna use I'm gonna use uh, this blue arrow. Don't click on the cube, but the blue arrow, and move that out. Now that's kind of weird. That doesn't look good. All right. So let's go back. Control Z back just once, and let's do the scale. And let's see if this works a little bit better this time. It's okay. Um, not exactly what I wanted to do. But what I'll do is I'll just uh, hit the W key and just move it back a little bit like that. There we go. And I, I can move the vertices around uh, later. So that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and go to vertex mode. Go to the front view. Okay. And let's just get that, these vertices back where they should be just very quickly. Okay. There we go. At the bottom, I'm going to go and just move that back and up. Okay. And then, of course, go to the next one. You can see that it's kind of messed up here. And I'm going to go do this one too. Under the chin is always difficult. It, it's weird. It's a strange place. Okay. So we'll take a look at what was going on here. That's always strange. There we go. Need to get up a little bit higher there. So we will move this in. Not quite sure where that's going. But that should go here. This should go here. And so on. And then these guys here, they're messed up here. So let's go ahead and move those. They go in here. Here we go. That's looking better already. Um, we've got a break here on this, so that I can't do anything there. I'll have to go ahead and move that over there. Move that over here. And here's another um, area that we have to kind of 
watch very carefully so we're gonna have to delete this face okay and um, how this works is we'll probably extrude this edge here first extrude so control E and just hit the W key and move that just in the center just kinda like this right so right click over it hold click on vertex and click on that vertex hold the V key and snap that select it and you guessed it edit mesh merge to center same thing here we got this break in here so we'll have to extrude this down click on the edge and just do control E W and just move that across like that All right click over it and select these guy, this guy right here and hold the V key and snap it and then we'll move that down here like that let's marquee select that and go to edit mesh and merge to center all right so we're doing really good here I'm pretty happy with this so far all right let's do uh, this one is a tricky one so let's click on this edge right here control E and W and just move that over right click over this to vertex select the vertex and hold the V key down snap it and it'll hold the V key down and snap that one and then we're gonna click on this guy we're gonna hold the V key down snap that and we're gonna move this into place so what we're gonna do is we got a bunch of them here we need to make sure that they are properly merged so I'm not gonna take any chances I'm gonna marquee select over these and do edit mesh and merge to center and then what I'll do is I'll select this marquee select that hit the G key marquee select this hit the G key marquee select this hit the G key I don't want to make any mistakes here without and forgetting to um, merge so with this we'll select it and move that around let's kinda get everything into place now there we go okay and I'll just kind of guess and guess that one goes there and then we'll go over here and just kind of guess that that's going to go here and that one's going to go there okay and we'll just kind of do the best we can getting getting these lined up oops that was a mistake um let's go back into here there we go and go to four views again all right that's looking pretty good we got some sloppy stuff going on here from the <laughs> from the front view so let's click on this guy right here and just kind of see where we're at with the front view all right yeah that's way off so let's move that over and this one's really bad too front view again to try to keep up with this if we can and then one more right here just keep it as smooth as we can that would go over here like that there you go not sure where that's supposed to go from the front view I think maybe down a little bit and just kind of follow the chin a little bit Okay, I think we're getting closer here. We've got kind of a wild thing going on right here. Let's kind of move that chin around a little bit. Go to the side view. It just takes a little bit to get everything settled. So what we're going to do is we just need to finesse this a little bit more. It's funny how you keep going to the front side, the view, side view, and it keeps messing things up here. Let's just do this. That looks better, I think. Yeah, that looks better. All right, so 
that looks pretty good we're gonna have to stop with this video we're running out of time again and so the next one uh, will continue modeling the face